hey you guys thank you so so much for tuning in and welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is jen and i love all things color we talk about makeup skincare this video is gonna is my favorite uh thing to do it's gonna be about my favorite thing to do which is lip swatches absolutely hands down my favorite kind of video to uh, film and this is from lisa elridge she recently added more shades to her existing lip glosses i haven't tried her lip lip glosses this is my first time so i was like okay let's start with the new shades and i got these such look at those shade colors a hot pink and the and uh hot pink called carnival and rain i believe some of the shades or all of the shades i'm not sure i think some of the shades match the lip already existing lipsticks that she has you know the regular like uh, traditional tube lipsticks because the names match i have a carnival here and i also have a carnival as a lipstick form which i haven't swatched so my obsession with her website and her lip products especially is like real or should i say unreal because i'm like spending a lot of time on her website so yeah i ended up picking up four extra shades of her traditional lipsticks i'm just holding up two but we're gonna be doing swatches of those as well so yeah let's get right into it and i will definitely talk about the formula and everything so the lip glosses retail for 25 dollars each whereas the lipsticks are 36 i will leave down the link for the first part one of the these lipstick swatches i believe i swatched like seven of them i'm not joking like i said the obsession with her products is insane i love i'm in love with her packaging and everything guys is so so amazing so anyways um the tube is kind of i was expecting it to be more slender usually glosses are and this is like a very fat <laughs> kind of short and fat kind of like packaging and it definitely takes takes up space in the purse and this is in the shade carnival and these uh, did i say retails for 25 and made in italy so i got two shades uh carnival and rain there are also sheer shades 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 i believe there's like high impact color which is like you can go ahead and apply those lip glosses opaquely and then there's like a medium impact and then there's like a very low impact is like absolutely sheer i'm i'm i think this is like high impact color like you can almost put it on like an uh, opaque gloss and this is like medium impact if i'm not wrong it's uh so yeah and there are there's also like a white like almost translucent base with shimmers i believe that's like a very very low impact kind of a color so let's swatch this is the applicator it's like a very chubby soft spongy thing and it's kind of slanted if you ask it's like a doe foot i guess so that is the pigmentation like i said like i'm so sorry if there's like sounds of the power tools and the wind it's like incredibly <laughs> it's not a good day to film but i was in a mood so i'm so sorry if you hear so much noise so as you can see my lips are pretty pigmented it's dark brown and this is like one swatch so if you have like if you don't have like darker uh tinted lips I think this is gonna look so pigmented and so uh, s <laughs> beautiful. So yeah, that is not like a very blue toned, pastely white base pink at all. It's not, it's a very r rich, like a grown up pink, if you will. So yeah, it has no fragrance, no taste at all, and it's so 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 moisturizing. To be honest, it's so moisturizing. I will quickly compare this with my the best lip gloss in the world which is tower 28 lip jelly so for sure i'm gonna quickly talk about that too it's like so luxurious i'm not gonna lie it's so luxurious and even after i take the lip gloss off it's so nourishing and so it's it stays on the lips but the actual lip gloss is not but it leaves a moisturizing layer behind it's amazing this is rain rain as you can see also has a good uh, tint to it right i think this is more like my natural my lips but better kind of a shade so 
so this is the rain like it doesn't really look peach at all to be honest it kind of just matches with my skin tone and kind of like i said my lips but but better kind of a feel a quick um review on the glosses is like i said i was i i honestly couldn't contain myself i just like already told you guys how i feel it's amazing it feels so luxurious it's like it goes on so smoothly and even after the lip gloss wears off it leaves behind a moisturized lips it kind of like nourishes your lips and leaves the uh, lips truly moisturized i love it uh will i buy more i have to say only if a color really intrigues me of or if interests me because tower 28's lip jellies are equally moisturizing and also high shine just as this but they are actually quite affordable they are like 15 dollars so um to be honest i oh my gosh what is the world coming to an end because this is insane so anyways i'm sorry about that beautiful formula definitely on the and the expensive side uh it's you you actually do get like a good amount you get 4.5 milliliters of product so it's not like a tiny teeny tiny it looks very short but you do get a i would say it's absolutely like a full size uh quantity for like a liquid lip product you know this is how you how much you usually get for lip gloss liquid lipsticks and so on so yeah but the lip gloss is amazing but i'm just a little bit hesitant to buy all of them because of the price but they are pretty fantastic big and i have a great great uh, alternative but the only difference between tower 28 lip jellies and this is tower 28 uh lip jellies they're all kind of very sheer to be honest you hardly see any of them or uh, they just give you a wash of color but high high shine and very very moisturizing but this you do get a good pigment on the lips good pigmentation on the lips and that is definitely uh I, I think that's 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 a good enough reason for me to buy more shades if i see i did see um a brown color like a decade i think i think it's called decade i think i'm gonna um probably get that one as well so yeah so let's quickly take this off but that's my little a review mini review of the product and let's get swatching the rest of the shades this is dragon velvet dragon i do have other orange shades but this is like a burnt orange not too burnt orange that it looks like a rust color but it looks orange enough and they are actually quite different so this is definitely a muted reddish orange i would say so if you're not of the bold of heart if you want an orange but it's a muted orangey shade you see how like kind of like muted it is not like a bright in your face orange it's it's pretty muted and but um this looks like it's been like painted you you have your lips painted that's how intense the pigmentation is so that's velvet dragon and i absolutely been loving it Let's get that off i also love that none of her lipsticks actually stain your lips they don't really stain i love that so next is velvet carnival this is the same shade did i already swatch this i'm not sure i'm not entirely sure carnival is so beautiful this is a like a barbie pink but it's like a grown-up barbie pink it doesn't look juvenile it's not like that blue white based pink it's like so grown up and i love it you guys it's so pretty and i usually like a pink i would usually think twice before like slapping it on my lips like such a hot pink but with this i'm like so confident and so sexy i absolutely love it so next is velvet decade this is the one i got the brown shade this is the brown and they have a lip gloss equivalent of this exact shade which i think it looks so pretty i it this particular shade looked very brown but do you see the earth tones it kind of has a hint of red there and i can tell it's not a true brown i have to say 
I don't know. I do feel it's like a hint of red there. So that's decade. I feel there's red there and it looks like maybe it mutes the brown and makes it not that harsh. A true brown would probably be like kind of harsh on the skin, which I adore. <laughs> I love, love a brown lipstick, but I'm just saying. So that is velvet. Uh, let's get it off. I have all the lip stamps all over the, my paper towel. It looks pretty. It looks. I think it looks really pretty, like art. <laughs> and then finally, it's Velvet Duchess. Velvet Duchess is like a very rich um, red. It's a dark, dark red. They do have like a shade called Velvet Ribbon which is how I actually got into this rabbit hole of shopping for a website over and over again. Uh, velvet ribbon is much uh, brighter, I would say. This guy is much, uh, quite darker and again, like, like a very sophisticated red. Makes your lips look like velvet and so like oozing with like sexiness <laughs> so yep we have come to the end of this video just like a quick review of the actual lipsticks themselves i have to say it looks beautiful it goes on like a dream the pigmentation is insane and you can see how velvety it makes your lips look it gives that very statement finish to the lips that being said there is a little bit of dryness so you probably would want to put on a lip balm underneath but if you put a too much lip balm it doesn't give this velvety matte finish it kind of gives you a satin finish amazing it stays on staying power everything's the same but it just gives you like more satin finish not this flat matte velvety kind of look just fyi so yeah uh, so there's like a happy medium where you put a very very thin layer of lip balm that way it doesn't affect the uh, beautiful sexy finish of the lipstick as well and uh, it also gives you like nourishment from the lip balm so yeah that's my quick review I really hope this lip swatch was helpful I totally enjoyed mine and yeah I will see you guys very soon bye, -bye.